All right, February is here, and you know what that means. That means Valentine's Day is coming up. So I have this really cute card that I'm gonna show you how to make. It's part watercolor and part watercolor marker, so it's a mixed media. You don't have to use the watercolor marker if you don't have it. You could just use just watercolor. It's up to you, or you could use just marker. Still, up to you. It's your pain, I don't care. So let's get started if we haven't met i'm viv this is art with viv and let's go to the studio <laughs> okay i started off with sketching out my design as i always do and now i'm just move removing some of that excess graphite with a kneaded eraser and i am using my cotman sketchers box uh, watercolor set it's a 12 half pans i really like it now this isn't like professional grade watercolor so you know just just a little aside there and i am just going to use a lot of different shades of pink to create this card and the first thing i'm doing is i'm doing sort of a rosy red pink there and on the l this spells out love and on the l i am painting each section with this nice rosy red color i'm going straight on to dry paper i am lifting it lifting up some of that color in the center so that it gives it a little more dimension it looks like a highlight and then i'm coming back with the darker red color and just going around the edges to give it a shadow and that just makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional gives a little bit of definition and i just like it and i just like saying definition apparently because i don't know how many times i've already said it we just have not even halfway through the video anyway i'll probably say it a whole lot more so once you get your l all those little sections you're going to let those dry and then i mixed two reds together to get a nice deep juicy uh, more of a true red and inside of the v there are little hearts so I'm just painting those going down the one, the first side of the V and then of course back up the other side just painting again right on dry paper. There is nothing hard about this card. It's a cute little card, quick and easy, wouldn't take you no time to do so that you can have it ready for Valentine's. Now I am using a lot of Chinese white which I don't normally use when I'm use, doing my watercolors but since I'm just getting doing shades of reds and pink I am adding that Chinese white in order to um, manipulate the colors a little bit more now be careful when you add white watercolor because really it's white gouache because it will make your watercolor a little bit more opaque but I've gotten a little bit of that um, sort of warm red there it's almost an orangey red and I mixed it with some of that white and just a tiny bit of that a more berry colored red to get that peachy pink that I have painted onto the E and now in between each one of those sections that we painted first I'm just going in with more concentrated color in those little sections in between those little lines in between each section just going right in there one thing make sure each one of those sections is dry or else you'll have some blooms or and some bleeding so you want to make sure that all of them are dry before you go in between with that darker red now i have mixed up some more of that peachy pink and i am just doing um, lines first i did vertical now i'm doing horizontal lines and that is to just to kind of mimic almost a gingham type pattern um, I know gingham usually has the white squares, but I didn't want to have white in the background. So you're going to let that dry. And then I mixed up a sort of a cherry colored pink, a really pinky pink. And I am just painting now around those hearts in the background of that V. And just to let you know, if you want a slowed down version of this, you can join my Patreon. It's only $5 a month. And I have this video, but only it is more in real time along with a supply list and an outline drawing and some color tips now what i've done here is i've just mixed a darker peachy pink and i am just painting in each little square where the horizontal and vertical lines overlap so that it'll be a little bit darker because of course where they overlap they should be darker 
Now, I'm not really worried about everything being a smooth and even wash. It's not that important to me. I like this handmade look on this. It looks kind of, um, uh, well, it looks handmade. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't look like it was a factory made card or somebody printed it out. It looks like it's made from someone's hand. And I, I enjoy that. I like that look. Now, if you don't like that look, then just be a lot more careful when you're painting Take your time, smooth everything out. That's just not what I want to do. So now I'm going in here to paint this cute little gnome and he has a cute little heart hanging off of his hat. I'm using some of those same colors. You see, I've got a really kind of a, a rosy pink at the top of my palette. Then I've got sort of a medium reddish pink and then I have that deep peach pink. So that's what the colors that I'm using while they're on my palette. I'm gives it a little bit of unity when you use the same colors throughout your composition throughout your design it pulls that composition together gives it some unity and that's what I'm going for so I'm just using the same colors over and over and just really trying to stay kind of in that pink and red color group now when I when I do my little gnome I'm gonna give him some green clothes but so that it's not so much of a contrast and such a harsh complementary color where they where the green clothes fight fight with the red I am going to gray that green down some by adding red to it and you'll see see I've added um, a little bit of red to that green mixture and that makes it not quite as bright of a red I mean of a green so that it doesn't it doesn't fight with my reds but it still is a complementary color so it's pleasing to the eye it's just not um, right in your face fighting with that red so now I just got a really pale watery pink I'm using a lot of Chinese white in that mixture for the heart that he's holding he's the little O for the love and then I'm just adding a little bit of a more concentrated deeper pink right around the edge of that heart while it's still wet I've got some brown doing his little uh, beard there just fine lines on his beard put a little black hook so that his heart can hang off of the tip of his hat now I'm painting a nice red border and then I'm just gonna add some like little circles little dots just to give it a little interest, a little bit more of that what, what, what dimension. That's right. A little texture, a little dimension never hurt anybody. So I'm just going to do those little red dots all the way around the card. And um, I like how this card is coming out. I think it's coming out pretty good. I like all the patterns in the letters. I like my little gnome. My little gnome, though, he looks like a, he's... He's not quite as strong as the L and the V and the E. But at the end, to fix that, what I'm going to do is just outline everything with some watercolor marker. Now, before you outline, make sure that your mark, I mean, make sure that your watercolor is completely dry so that you don't have a lot of bleeding and a whole lot of mess. We don't want mess. So what I did is I tried to match my colors of my markers to my watercolor may maybe the the markers just be just like a little shade darker than my actual watercolor so that you can really see that it is an outline outlining my letters outlining the hearts just outlining everything to give everything its own little space and to separate it from the other letters and the other parts of the design so that's all I'm doing there and if you don't have the exact colors I'm, I have, just use whatever you have on hand. You don't have to make it hard. Make it easy on yourself. And you'll see once I get everything outlined, it really does add a nice structure to the painting. Normally I don't like to outline my paintings, but for this one, since it's sort of graphic, sort of il like an illustration, that, that outlining actually does it a service. So that's all I've done there. And then I decided I would do some little scalloped edges or, you know, little little half humps. I don't know what you call them. Some little scalloped edges around those red dots. And just give it another layer of interest. 
and just a little bit more design and I like the way it came out again I am not being really particular I'm being pretty messy with it and I got my white jelly roll pen and I am just adding highlights just highlights wherever I think the highlight that it needs a highlight and I am enjoying this I'm just getting just you know really loose with it so I like it I like all my little highlights I like my little gnome I like my love then I decided to add some dots inside those some white dots inside those red circles just to make it look even more lacy and then you know I just um I just left it alone we're gonna leave it to dry and you will have this cute little quick Valentine card again if you want the full version come on over join my patreon at the dabbler level and get all that goodness over there I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up uh, consider sharing it with a friend especially someone that you know that likes art and let me give a special shout out to my patrons without you I cannot continue to do this but y'all have been so good to me and I appreciate it so much so special thank you to you guys and um, y'all happy painting <music>